Ladies and gentlemen, got a little bit of smoking, smoky Robinson in our background. And what I'm doing right now is I am making sure that the volume ain't too much, that it ain't too little, that it's, you know, just right. So y'all just have to excuse me for a brief moment while I make sure that he's on Bluetooth and that we don't blow your eardrums out. Ladies and gentlemen, what you see in the background is the development of the two for 20 to 1. 20, 21. 20 to 1 website, 20 to 1.org. 2021! All right, ladies and gentlemen, we temporarily put up the site earlier this year and we told you guys we'll be developing that because that's where we're going to be loading your files up we want all of you to be patient soon we're going to post the links for the individuals who have accounts with us whom we are digitally we're doing an audit of our system scanning documents and creating files we couldn't have done this before because we didn't foresee it being this way we did have them scanned on a external hard drive and that ended up getting apparently damaged during a flood uh, in Texas. So we're going to be storing them online and we're going to be securing them online. Now, while this is going on in the background, I need to let you guys know what we are working on. You cannot see the bottom of the screen, but let me go ahead and let you know what's open. The Prime, the Plus, the Omega, all of those contracts are open because we have to edit them to make sure they have the precise information. Ladies and gentlemen, what I do have to warn you guys of, because I know somebody, it's just people, so I know somebody's going to do it because that's what people do. The contracts are similar. It's just some of the wording has changed and the dollar amounts are changed. If you pay attention, were to take these contracts the way that they are and change those dollar amounts and keep the title the same, your contract will not be processed until you correct your mistake. Each pack is labeled what it is and we did not want to um, make it to where one trust gave you this benefit and another trust gave you that benefit. We wanted each of the trusts to have the same benefits, such as the tax exemption. We've taken and we placed the codes and the language that is required for a tax exemption. Now, here's the thing. Some people are going to think that that's all we got to do. We'll just buy one and we'll just copy it. And then we'll just create our own company and we'll do the same thing. No, because as soon as this finishes, if it finishes by the time I finish this video, I'll be able to show you the wording. Other than that, when you click on the links for the different Q packs, it's going to take you to the 20 to 1 site for making your payment, which will be available Monday the 27th, uh, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, no, Tuesday the 27th. Woo, sorry, Tuesday the 27th. The current Omega Plus and Prime Packs will be available. As we stated, they each include an arbitration agreement. Now, I do believe we're the first to include arbitration agreements in our contracts that are trust. That's right. Each one of our SAP Packs are already trust agreements, which is why we were getting individuals 98 series numbers. Okay. To have them establish their foreign trust, but people weren't getting that. We won't be getting 98 series numbers anymore. The reason why we're not getting 98 series numbers is because it's not necessary. You still get your tax exemption when you do everything the correct way. So, included in the contract within the first five pages, first seven pages, sorry, of the contract is the instructions as to what you are required to do because the wording has to be a certain way. 
So all you have to do is read your trust agreements and you will understand exactly what's being required of you financially regarding taxes. You know what? I got to shut this thing down and start it up again because that is a glitch that I've known about. This is me loading files up to my tablet and it's easier doing it this way. Now I got to start that again. Where are you at? There you is right there. Okay. Getting back to let you guys know. As a matter of fact, I can show it to you this way. No, I can't show it to you this way. That's not it. Okay. No, those are the files. So I thought I could show it to you that way, but I can't. Um, and look at that. Okay. I have to shut this down this way and then open it back up. Okay, that ain't it. That's my external connections. Let's see if it's going to open up correctly. All right, let's get back to the conversation. Ladies and gentlemen, The each one of the contracts, like I said, are almost identical in nature. It's just the dollar amounts and the percentages are different. The first seven pages explain exactly what you're required to do. However, again... These are direct quotes from the actual publication. You must do finer research. We cannot do the research for you. What you do not realize is that there are a whole lot of consequences if we were to offer you tax advice. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not going to give you tax advice. I know you've heard me say on my videos that I give all the advice I want. Well, this is not about me. This is about the organization. So there are several laws in existence which govern trust agreements. Agreements associated with a particular trust listed on our site are held to be tax exempt. When individuals follow the rules and pay attention to the regulations noted in the agreement within the first several pages, exactly what I just stated. Let's go to the next one. Got to do is just click on the arrow. If you sit up there and wait all year, it'll click on itself. Now, I didn't know this was so dark, and I apologize for that. So what I have to do is I now have to correct this and change the color. Let's see. Blue. Blue, and then we're going to take it, and we'll bring it here so that you guys can see it. And then this one. We're going to take it and we're going to bring this to number two. As a matter of fact, we'll bring both of them to number two so that you guys will be able to see it clearly and you won't have to strain your eyes. Okay, so let me get all the way up to the top. As a matter of fact, let me do this. This is the editing of the site. It is not up yet. It will be up shortly. Oh, that's right. I can't do it that way. I have to go down here and go that way one more time and so now i can bring this to two okay for instance a private foundational trust under law is a tax-exempt organization according to the united states congress let's get that out of the way according to the united states okay a tax-exempt organization still has tax documents that must be filed at least annually. And there can be no income business assets at the end of the tax season. Or it is said that the organization isn't tax exempt. Ladies and gentlemen, how do you get around that? There is a way. We are going to let you know now. I'm not going to hide that from you. In order for you to have an organization that is tax exempt and it received dividends during the year, monies during the year, then that particular organization must pay attention because you guys, some people are not going to pay attention. That organization must sit up there and document that it gave a salary to its main people. The beneficiary or the executives 
CEOs, whoever you got, you are allowed, you have the right to earn a salary, earn income. So with that being said, we are letting you know that that information is inside the contract already. Sorry, I got to change this to black. I can't have that being blue. Because we need you guys to be able to read it. Now, we don't, as we said, we don't offer tax advice. That's not what, that's not what we do here. Individuals must be familiar with their trust agreements. Everything you need to know is inside the trust agreement. Okay. The trust agreements are set up in such a way that it literally deals with the trustees being the United States trustees, United States executives, United States officers. There is no law against you making a trustee who is already a trustee, who you already have a relationship with as a trustee from being a trustee. Anybody understand that? Anybody misunderstand that? Anybody not understand that? Ladies and gentlemen, it works out like this. There are already trust agreements. The United States government has already documented trust agreements. You have the Social Security Trust Fund. Well, let's let, let's not even deal with the word fund. Keep the word fund out of this. You have the Social Security Trust, and you have the United States Treasury Trust. Let's not even say fund because, see, those are special legal terms. When you use the word fund, that's talking about a specific special thing. So you don't want to say the Social Security Trust Fund. You want to say the Social Security Trust. Remember, there's an organization known as the United States Trustees. You, as a citizen of the United States, can already create and document you have a relationship with the United States, a prior agreement, which allows you to change the terms of that contract. Have you attained the age of the majority? Well, you have within a reasonable time after attaining that age of majority to gain control of the securities in your account. These contracts are designed to help you gain control firmly and finally the securities held in that account. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the first thing that will be done when your contracts are received back is we'll be checking certain sections to see if they've been altered. If they've been altered, you'll receive it back. You'll have to pay for the postage again. And then we will charge you for the postage of having to send it back to you. Okay, we will charge you for that because you'll be wasting our time. If you make a quote-unquote honest mistake, we ain't got no problem with that. The unique thing that you all need to know is that these trust agreements are not to be filed on a public record. Ladies and gentlemen, let me say it again. These trust agreements are not to be filed on the public record. These are private trusts, and as private trusts, they remain private. What needs to be filed on the public record, we will take care of. You give us authorization only to file those documents necessary to complete this process for you. And in no way are we to benefit from filing those documents for you because they are yours. They don't belong to us. We've had people accuse us of using 98 series numbers for our own personal benefit. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on. Um, you know, and I, I got McFadden and um, Whitehead wrong before, and I apologize, McFadden and Whitehead. I, I've always, I don't know why, I knew it was McFadden and Whitehead, but I kept saying all this time, Ashford and Simpson, because, A, Simpson's not here no more because he passed away a couple of years ago. But I'm a huge fan of Ashford and Simpson. Listen to them like water. I mean, they, they were being played all the time by me, especially solid. Okay, so I'll say it right this time. Let me go ahead and explain this because a lot of people are misunderstanding this about this whole process. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't care about your 98 series numbers. We could care less what your 98 series number is. That was a benefit for you, not for us. We are not using your 98 series number for anything excuse me because some people have accused us of using their 98 series number ladies and gentlemen we're getting 98 series numbers for people if we wanted to use a 98 series number for something austerious or any other reason could we not have just 
got 98 series numbers? We could have created names and created organizations and corporations. We could have done that on our own. We didn't need you or your birth certificate or any of that. We're not using your birth certificate. We don't need any of that. We're not. The only problem is, and this is what people are not understanding, not everybody has access to your files. The people who did have access, many of them are gone. So I've been having to retrain people. That's why you hear distress in my voice, because I'm going to miss our meeting tonight, which is one of our main meetings, because I'm working on this. And I also wanted to let you guys know what I was working on so that you were aware of it. Hold on a minute so that you guys can catch up to me. There are people who are asking, when will this be available? Again, this will not be available until the 27th, even though we've already talked about that. That information says the end of July. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not the end of July. This is still mid-July. Matter of fact, it's one day after the first day of summer. So we know that we have a lot of people, God. There are so many people who have been emailing and emailing and emailing. So I thought I'd take the time to say hey to everyone. The new program will start on the 27th. They'll receive a response back, but a lot of work is being done right now, and a lot of it is being done by me. The amending of the website, that's being done by me solely. It will be done. Then we have um, set up the bank account. Again, that's being done, not by me. That's being done by, some, by someone else. But work is being done. And again, as I say to all of you, we have placed on our website the following information, or will be placing the following information. Mm, let's see, we're going to, I don't know what to change this to because I can't leave it as black because I can't make the picture any lighter. That's the problem, and I can't do that any lighter. So let's go here and let's see what we get. Yeah, I think we can do that. Okay. Agreements associated with a particular trust listed on our site are held to be tax exempt when individuals follow the rules and pay attention to the regulations noted in the agreement within the first several pages. That's that one. We're going to go backwards, okay, because I need you to see. My suggestion is that you read it forward. Individuals must be familiar with trust agreements. It is interesting that trust agreements are associated directly with common law as the right of a competent party to enter into or engage in contractual agreements. This is the first organization to our knowledge to actually introduce an arbitration clause into a trust agreement, originally done in 2018, whereby if a party to this agreement with the trustee of the United States and the citizens of the several states have a dispute, it's supposed to be with, so this is when, so we'll take care of that now because that's what this is about. I get to take care of it now. That's voice recognition because that's what I use. Yeah, I can't do that. I You can't use the, the arrow to move forward. You got to use the mouse. Okay. Uh-oh. Got caps on because I'll be yelling at people. Okay. Have a dispute or any questions or interpretation of an interpretation or any and all requests respecting the agreement between the parties before an arbitrator whom the parties have selected to operate independently and alternatively to the judicial system. Hold on, ain't, ain't there yet. Yeah, after I've been thinking for like a minute, render a fair, just, equitable, and reasonable determination based upon the facts presented that party, the arbitrator. Ladies and gentlemen, hold on. Got one more that I definitely want to read to y'all. Okay, this one, I just, the problem is I did this too big. And so I don't know how I'm going to correct that. Let's uh let's go ahead and make it lesser. Lesser, lesser, lesser. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do it in text form. Oh, come on now. I think it was already there. One second. So that I can get on out of here. Because I got work to do. I don't want that one. I want this one. Come on now. Okay. 
basically under the Bill of Rights, every person has the right to practice religion. You have the right to come together as a community. You have the right to peacefully assemble. You have the right to reserve your rights. You also have the right to retain your rights. You also have the right to petition for redress of grievance. You have the right to the freedom to say whatever you want, so long as you don't infringe upon the rights of another person. Okay. With these rights is your right to form a religious organization. So now we're not talking about religious obligation organization where you're in conflict with the true God, where you're forming a quote unquote false religion. No, religion is just beliefs. That's all it is. You can believe <laughs> and like in the uh I and I do talk about it and I'm looking for it now, so you'll have to forgive me for a second while I find it. Uh, there was an episode, there was a TV series known as What's Happening? Y'all remember What's Happening? I don't know if this was What's Happening or What's Happening Now, but I do believe it was What's Happening. It was a sitcom. And there was a character named Dwayne. He joined the new religion where the individuals of that religion, they worshipped a head of lettuce called Ralph. The belief was that this head of lettuce controlled the lives of the members of that organization. The fact is, in the United States, individuals are free to believe whatever they choose to. You are free to have whatever beliefs you want. And if you want to call that belief a religion, that's your choice. As I told you, I don't have a belief when it comes to the fact that I am one of Jehovah's Witnesses. That's not my belief. Being a Jehovah's Witness is not my belief. That is my profession. And I don't mean profession as in, I'm an athlete. I mean profession. Okay, that is my, I profess that. Okay, so it's not a belief. That's what I am. That's different. You see, I am one of Jehovah's Witnesses. Jehovah's Witnesses is not a religion. I know, I know some people classify it as such, and sometimes they'll refer to it as such in a general sense, but it is not a religion. It's what I profess to be, it's what I am. So I am not a religion. You follow me? However, if I want to create an organization based on the fact and belief that I have that right, let's say they want to say that you're a sovereign citizen. Well, if that is your belief, you have the right to be that in the United States. Let's say you're a domestic terrorist. If that is what you choose to be, you have the right to be that in the United States. What you cannot do is infringe upon the rights of another. So if you want to be a domestic terrorist, you have every right in the world to be a domestic terrorist. But what you cannot do is you cannot take your domestic terrorism into somebody else's house, into somebody else's front yard, into somebody else's county square, public square, and cause damage to another person. You don't have the right to do that. So get it out of your head. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, also, you're going to find, now this is one page for, well, it'll be two pages in a minute, but this is one page for now, and I want you guys to pay attention to something. Pay attention! This is the future. This is not now. This is where each one of the packs, each one of the individuals, your information will be under here. Okay? You click on this, you type in your name, you'll have a sign-in section. Okay. Then we explain a little bit about what's going on, and... There you go. There is the site. Aw, uh, you weren't supposed to be there. Let's get rid of this. Aw, bye-bye. Yes, 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 get rid of it. We don't need it. Those of you who didn't understand, who never heard me talk about it before, this is called MobiRise. The website is MobiRise. I mean, the uh, software is called MobiRise. MobiRise is a simple software. All you do is type. You ain't got to do no coding or nothing else. Well, I do coding in my Mobi Rise. Okay, that's just so you know. I do coding. You do coding? That's right. I do coding. Man, I met her. She she was something else, wasn't she? She was something else. That's why she ain't here no more. All right. There are several things else that I need to talk about, and I'm going to do it quickly. I hope I can get it done quickly. Ladies and gentlemen, some of you have been asking to help. So we put out applications on our website, I mean, on YouTube, to let you guys know that, yes, if you want to become 
a person who is helping people with SACCOM, by all means, we are looking forward to that. That looks like downtown Los Angeles, y'all. If I'm not mistaken, this looks like downtown Los Angeles, and we're looking south towards Hollywoods. But I'm not sure, because I can't tell, but these look like downtown LA. But it, it doesn't have to be, but I'm, this looks like 6th Avenue. Or is it 6th Street? No, that's 6th Street. Uh, it's not avenues up there, but 6th Street. This looks like 6th Street. The exit for 4th and 6th. But I can't tell, and I can't see the sign right there, because I was trying, y'all. I was trying, but I can't see the sign. And this on-ramp right here, yeah, but I, I can't tell, so I can't give y'all that as far as being truthful. I do know this. That's why I believe it is, because this street right here, I knows this street. Anyway, let me go ahead and finish explaining. And that's okay, because a lot of architecture in the United States is identical. Their cities will borrow plans from the other because they like the way a particular intersection is and they will use those plans because remember it is the Department of Transportation. Let's continue, shall we? We are gonna be taking in those applications at the email address that is on the application until the 25th and not beyond the 25th. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had several people email the wrong address. Please understand, you email the wrong address that is automatically a disqualifier. Now, I just want you to understand, we know people are busy, we know people get distracted, but you email the application to the wrong address, that means you cannot follow instructions. That means you need more help. That, need, that means you are going to need more of my time. And yes, I'm messing my words up because of the fatigue. Yes, 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 yes. Been up since four o'clock, working on a bunch of things for the site, especially having the contracts on my mind, because I know what I need to do to each one, and we got to get them finished by the twenty seventh. They'll be done by Saturday for certain, because I just have to do a little bit of tweaking on each one, and it's the same tweak, because like I said, they're generally the same thing, only changing a couple of minor things. And making sure we emphasize a couple of things. Ladies and gentlemen, what I am trying to say is there is a lot of work being done behind the scenes that we've been trying to get people to understand for several years now. That we are not just sitting around, not answering you, not responding to you. We are low on staff. I just had to let, follow me, two people go last evening because they haven't been doing anything, haven't been participating. So they have been given ample opportunity to quote unquote shape up. To this moment, to this very day, they didn't show up for the meeting last night. Neither one of them, they don't even know each other, but neither one of them, well, they don't know each other, know each other. In other words, they didn't know each other prior to um, the other one coming in. One of them has been with us for quite some time, but he's had some issues and I've been pulling for him and making excuses for him. The only problem is I can't do it anymore because it's not fair to the people who are doing the work. As a matter of fact, we just gave some bonus payments to some of the people who have been doing some extra research because our, our organization is not research. And a lot of people think they're coming here to do research. Please understand, you're not coming here to do research for us. Okay, what's happening is that yes, we do research assignments. We assign things to people because they need to have the education. But it's not for me to gain the education. Okay, so that we say that the new people who are coming in, please understand that I, I won't allow. We've had a couple of situations, and I, I've told you guys about how we've had individuals who tried to literally subvert everything in the organization and take over the organization and, and try to get a group to run it the way they want to run it. Ladies and gentlemen, that ain't happening. And every time I see it, even get wind of it, I give the person a warning, then I nip it in the bud. It's been nipped in the bud. It hasn't happened this time because I'm here. And I dare somebody to try to do something like that with an organization where I'm running. That ain't happening. Now, 
last thing, then we let you guys get to your day. Ladies and gentlemen, your files, like I said, nobody has access to them. Nobody's using them for anything. We are waiting for a certain period of time to pass so that we can take care of each one of those stat packs because they will have gained their maturity. We also needed the research done on the tax credit. So what I did is I gave one of the guys who was associated with our organization the task of doing that research, even told him, hey, I'm going to work with you. You got me right there. Any questions you have, you just have to ask me, but we're going to work together. This is all I need you to do is just uh, tell me what a tax credit is, and you don't tell me today. I'm going to give you a full week to find out what a tax credit is. That's just that. That's it. All you have to do is go to Google and say, what's the tax credit? That's it. Do you think he did it one time? Gave him seven weeks now? And to this day, he still hasn't done it. This is why you send an email to the wrong address and you're going to get flagged because I don't need you. And the people who are associated with this organization and getting these packs don't need it. Ladies and gentlemen, do you not understand? We don't advertise to no other persons. We don't advertise to the public. We've had several offers to buy this organization because they're just now starting to realize what we put together and what it's capable of. If we allowed it to run amok, we're not trying to do that. This is for you all. It's not for me. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't have a sat pack. No, I, I'm sorry. I will have an Omega pack. You have my word on that. Now, I don't have a sat pack in the sense of a sat pack. All the elements of a sat pack, I've already done. Okay, pay attention. All the elements of a sat pack, I've already done. Did that in 2012. Did that before all of you did it. Just like I said, even with the money orders and everything, following that on the court record, I test it out before you guys do. But the Omega, that's why I'm spending so much time on it, because that thing has to be for the most part, perfect. So bear with me as we get this done. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not going to let anybody mishandle your files, mishandle your information. That is not happening. And I give you my word that if any one of our members does that to the point where they did something criminally, I will be the first to testify. And you can give me 1,500 books because I'll throw every single book at that person. I give you my word on that. It ain't happening. That's not how we operate as an organization. All right, ladies and gentlemen, have a very good day. Thank you for letting me come to you and bring you this information. And now I's got to go because there ain't no stopping them. Have a good day.